Hi there, everybody. It's me, the Snack Commissioner. Howdy. This month is brought to you by Nougat. Just the concept of Nougat. I think, I think Nougat makes a good candy bar. Anyway, we're going to start our world tour of Universal Yum's unboxing. Let's, uh... Use the tools that we are provided to unbox this treasure. South Korea? I'm, I'm quite excited about this one. Quite excited. Ooh. South Korea. Off we go. It was upside down. And a sticker? Always fun. I was good. That was magical. Fluttered like a butterfly. This is confusing me. Explore South Korea. This is our, our handy book that we always use to look up all the mysteries of the box and gives us all the information and all the ingredients and all the allergies. It is a, a handy, informative, wonderful book that everyone should choose. Uh, but let's let's find one of the the secret uh, questions one of the fun riddles that they include on the back of the box of the cereal box for fun and games uh, Which is considered good luck in Korea? Gifting someone shoes dreaming of pigs spotting the number four or whistling at night and the answer is to have a pig dream. I love that. So, off we go. Off to the races. Spicy corn chips. Look at that fun bag. It's got a little pepper devil. I have actually banished one of them before to the nacho realm. It's not your realm. Imagine a corn chip that's crunchy and light and wonderful and it's a sweet, spicy, uh, I could eat this whole bag. Um, descriptions, spicy, sweet, corn. That was wonderful. I, I think I'm going to quite love this bag. Caramel maple corn. Canadian maple syrup in the South Korea box. We have an international treatise going on. They had a summit. Oh no, they filled it with so much air. Those Canadians in there. Oh, oh boy. Oh geez. Oh no. Oh me, oh my. Not gonna do it. You think you can just break snack law, and that's perfectly acceptable? It's not, Commissioner. We'll just... It'll be okay. That's not a portent. We will... We will rectify that sin. So imagine a Cheeto that's huge and crunchy and soft, and then it's covered in a maple crunch. Are you imagining it? Cause I don't, I don't have to imagine it. What a wonderful bag. I'm so excited. So again, wait, what? There's the top, but the preparation is on the side. Trials and tribulations. The churro snack. It's got churro friends on on it. Anthropomorphized and everything, singing songs. Again, a bit of an international jury. Journey, jury. International jury, yeah, that's it. This one I can do. This one I will use the power of my packaging degree. I don't have a packaging degree. Ooh, a fun little churro. Ooh, a crispy, crunchy, sweet snack. 
Is this gonna be my favorite box? If, did I? What did I do to deserve this? Let's have a, a sip of the mystery drink. Great. No one likes that mystery drink but me this time, but I love it. These are great. Choco corn puffs. A friendly friend dancing around in a dark chocolate abyss. I've been there once too. My whole party had to go there, but we, we made it back. We had an injury, but our cleric was able to, to revive them. So, remember what I said about... Oh, that's a... Let's get a curly one. Let's get a curly one. There we go. So imagine a Cheeto that's chocolate and crunchy. Basically, there's a lot of imagination in this box. Um, a naturally and artificially flavored corn puff. Puffs are good. We need more puffs in the world, I think. Jiggly or otherwise. Trouble potato chip. Look at that fun packaging. It Great box. This is a great box. Opened easily. Didn't have to do any crimes. So it's subtle. It's like your typical potato chip. But the flavor has a fun umami bite to it. This this is this Kind of mysterious this bag. It doesn't have a lot of see in a lot of snacks I see. They'll be like, boom, information, boom, information, boom, information. This one is kind of a mystery. I mean, I also don't speak Korean, and there are many Korean characters on this, so it might not be as much of a mystery to people who do speak that wonderful language. A great chip. And it uh, kind of accompanies all this. They don't usually have like flavor profiles that really play well together. They just give you a whole bunch of stuff they sell in, in their country. There's an interplay here. I think we're through the looking glass. This is important. We're going to crack this case. Well, my name isn't the Snack Commissioner. Smicy spice Spicy. <laughs> you got me saying a made-up word. But I'm not the word commissioner, so I, I'm fine. Spicy. What would that even be? Okay. Spicy chicken corn puff. Corn heavy box. Puff heavy box. Am I complaining? I am not. So. You know corn pops? The cereal? What if they tasted like chicken and were spicy? They would taste like these and again are wonderful. I have no idea what's going on. This is great. I am delighted, a little confused, and I'm here for it. Let's go, let's go. Um this. It's got another little pepper boy on it. A little anthropomorphized. Oh, oh boy. Yep, we ripped it. That's what we did. No crime here. Just kind of a sloppy performance, but that's not a crime. Ooh. Kind of a sugar glaze around a straw of crispness. I'm gonna guess it's corn. Maybe it's a maybe it's something else though. So they're kind of like caramel buels, sorta, except if they were a spicy and b actually good. Um, there's a delicateness to them, but not really, because they are supported, buttressed, as you might say, by that little spicy syrup on the outside. It's both sweet. And spicy, sweet, and great. I love this box. 10 out of 10. 
Let's go. Look at these. I I don't know what's gonna be inside. Oh boy, they look like shells with a sugary coating. Whatever, what kind of snail was in this? I'm gonna have to find a zoologist. Find what kind of creature made this. Especially because it's wonderful. Crispy honey nut, wonderful shell. I can't stop. Best of the box? Maybe. I gotta slow down. I'm too excited. We're gonna take a breather. I'm fidgeting. Look over there. Look over here. Wonderful drink. No foes in sight. Let's keep going. Boy, oh boy. This box. What should I even choose? No, that, that's for the end. Pepero Crunchy. Oh boy. Wow, wow, wow. Says open. So I did. We got pretzel straw with crunchy crumbs on them. Chocolate. Why am I so muted right now? I don't know. I just feel like this is an august box. It, deserves reverence. So I'm using my indoor voice. So most of the, bo uh, the things in this box have been like very crispy and sweet and spicy. This one, the chocolate on the outside is actually kind of soft and yielding. And then you get to the crisp on the, crisp on the inside of a nice pretzel. I like it. It, uh, I think the, the crunchies on the outside have a soft puffed rice texture to them, even though they're not technically rice themselves. So it is softer than I was expecting, but it has a nice burnt sugar, maybe not real chocolate aftertaste that I quite enjoy. They just say it's crunchy, but I trust them. That word. Oh no, let's try it. That's not fun. Coke de C. Yeah, I don't want to say it because I don't want to say bad words. But I could guess what that might be pronounced. Uh, Dace? Da Dassy? Da ass? It's probably da ass, right? That's the, that's the thing that's going to make us all laugh. But wonderful. Look at this. It's got a nice little... Display case. And lots of lots of opening in this one. Oh boy, it's a nice little like a butter cookie with a chocolate little ribbon painted on it and a nice cream. These aren't dassy at all. They are wonderful. They remind me of a very light Belgian cookie that you would get at Christmas time in a fancy tin. That's what I think, and I love those. Let's keep going. This space is great. We're climbing a mountain of discovery and intrigue. It's not a lot of intrigue. It's more just deliciousness. I'm overwhelmed. Choco biscuit. Concho. What in the world? What are these creatures? There's a lot of creatures in this box. I think I need a, a wonderful a book of extraordinary beasts or yeasts because it's food. Yeah, that's a joke. See, I'm not going to get yelled at for that one because I opened the outside box. And inside boxes, you don't get squawked at for. It's a rule. I wasn't even worried. About after squawks. So these, sometimes I've had them that have pandas on them. They're like a nice little biscuit outside and a nice chocolate inside. It's a chocolate creme. I'm trying to look at the little 
creatures, which are just these cookies, but people, and their cookies are their heads. I've always unsettled by that. I guess companies got to do what they got to do. I don't want to eat anthropomorphic people. I don't want to end a civilization, especially if they're so happy and cute. But, you know, snack commissioner has to commission and snack. Now, this one just has, like, a square. Maybe it's sliced bread. Sw sliced sweet bread. I don't know. I was expecting a creature. Again, wonderful. Wonderful colors. The word I can recognize on this box is crown. Is this going to be the king of this box? Or queen? Or any of the Reggies? We'll see. Indi well, individual little things inside a larger box. I'm, I, I got time for that. Bright colors. Yellow packaging. A nice sandwich cookie. Like a... Vanilla Hydrox. And the cream inside, I'm trying to identify a flavor. Um, it's like a spice cookie, maybe a slight sense of cinnamon. It's not much of a spice cookie, it's mostly vanilla. There's something dry to it. And then the cream on the inside is just sort of there. This is a dry one. This is maybe not my favorite cookie ever, but it was almost going to be a perfect box. Oh, there's a saltiness after it. This is not an unenjoyable bite, but we are in the pantheon of, of heights and flavors. And this is just kind of, you could find this like an equivalent in other boxes, and it would be one of the better ones, but it's steep competition, so it's not gross, it's not weird, it's not bad. But, like, we have so many treats to discover. That's what I think. Choco pie. I've actually had one of these before. Sometimes snacks just get mailed to me. Sometimes, like, I tell my friends, I like snacks. And they're like, oh, do you? And they give me them. And I like that. I got good friends. That's what I think. Happy Moments Choco Pie Banana. So, this is a moon pie. Moon pie. What a time to be alive. And I don't really taste any banana. Which is, I'm just fascinated. I'm just staring at it. Um, that's fine. You've had moon pies and you've had fake banana flavor things before. And you've had waxy chocolate. They're putting all the, like, substandard ones kind of on the bottom. I thought I had this, but I don't think I've had this flavor. I had a different chocolate pie. I did not have banana and I was underwhelmed. Best choice custard cream cake. Is it the best choice, though? Because they've been tricking us in all the, like, substandard snacks. Not substandard. They did a great job making them in the factory. I'm not going to just besmarry anyone's hard work. But my preference? Well, not, not, my, not my first pick. Okay. Okay, custard pie. It's a nice sweet little cake with a nice little Boston cream pie custard. Uh, it, again, pretty good. Not the best thing in the box, because those shells, those wonderful s sweet shells, what were they? What gastropod created them? Under the sea or above? On the beach? On the beaches of sand? Candy sand? I don't know. I'm in a dream world right now. Um, I put too much custard cake in my mouth but instead of being dry it's actually easy to chew I was just a lot to chew choo choo train 
train, train, choo-choo train. Our team's gonna beat your team. Woo woo! That was one of our cheers when I was on the varsity cheerleader team. I was undercover though. Trying to bust braggadocio teenagers trying to do too many drop candy pops, sour drops. Like a magical luchador comes and he's like, are you sour enough to try this sour candy? And then they dare each other to drop little dumb candies on their mouth and they have competitions. And I guess I support healthy competitions and trying to be the best around. But, like, you can get into some dangerous stuff with that. Sometimes they're magical and turn you into something. Oh, man, the 90s. What a, or early 2000s. I can't remember. What a crazy time. I'm, oh, man, I'm befuddled. Someone cast a spell on me. Choco Pie, I have not been impressed by you. Nah, I don't like saying bad things. People do good work. This one tastes like green tea, and I do like that. But all these flavors are subtle, and this one's just okay. Why was the heights were so high and the lows were so tepid? That's the word of the day besides nougat, which we haven't had any of. Uh, this one has a bunch of strawberries on it. I bet they're gummies. Cause we always gotta have a gummy. Can't have a box without gummies, apparently. By order I know. of the snack committee, I hereby set you. Uh, oh, hey, no, stop, stop! What are you doing? Stop! No, nope. no, you're. Ah! Sometimes you just can't work with people. But some birds are great. side has that neat, nice little white cream side and the other side is just a nice little pink soft no what do you what do you guys think when you see a pack of candies what color do you associate with strawberry red pink or like in germany they're green in some of the haribos that's weird put your answers in the comments all of you myriads of listeners color Associated with strawberry for you. This is our fruit snack. It's fine. Now these sweet and sour chewy strawberry. I am I, what? It's got a distribution system, and then inside there's like a now and later. Yep. But it's pink, so I know it's strawberry, and it's sour. It's pretty good, but it's not like unique or exotic. I'm not to promote exoticism, because that's pseudo imperialist, and I'm not for that. Sweet and sour, chewy, great, great candy. Always a danger when you meet a stranger. I don't know how I feel. So I don't think I've ever had a good grape candy. The only good grape is wine. That's what I think. Get those raisins out of there. I know that's controversial because some people like them. I don't like them. Still tastes the same, but murkier. Well, box is empty, which means. I'm gonna leave. Bye! Stop! Hey, guess what? No small bag of candy. Usually there's a small bag of weird candy and you rip it up and pour little, like, cough drops and eat them. There was none. What are they doing? Are... I'm com I am 
staggered and confounded. I don't feel like I'm getting ripped off necessarily because I don't really like those small bags of candy, so I guess that's fine. And they have the equivalents in their own little package, now and later little packages, so I think that's what they did. I think they were just like, here, have your weird sour drops, but in an actual package. I think that's the mystery, but I was confused because I'm like, yum bag, where art thou? That's what I thought. Okay, goodbye for real. Love you. Move your ding dong computer in. Get out of here. We got to do the ding dong snack uh, close ups. Mm -hmm. This is important. Cam, I know. You come in here and you think that this ain't ding dong important. This is the most important part. You're doing a little dong. Little, little You're on the dingle dongle, and I'm here to show you tingle dongle close ups. Not those kind of close ups.